just be a rail train from Prince Rupert to Jasper. If you're gonna spew, you can spew into this. I can oh, see it. there. <laughs> We're Matt and Carla, a Canadian couple with two totally different backgrounds, sharing our experience and advice about traveling in Canada. So follow along as we continue to explore the second largest country on earth. After spending a week in Vancouver, we took a flight to Prince Rupert to embark on our first ever Via Rail train ride and one of their most adventurous routes that travels 1,160 kilometers from Prince Rupert to Jasper, Alberta. Unfortunately, we didn't have time to explore Canada's rainiest city, but after checking into the beautiful Inn on the Harbour Boutique Hotel, we made our way to the Waterfront Restaurant at Crest Hotel, which offers delicious food and some of the best views in the area. The next morning, we boarded the train to begin our first day of this two-day train ride. Although the weather wasn't the best, something to expect in the early spring, we still got to see some dramatic and diverse landscapes as we traveled through the Northwest Pacific Coast to the Rocky Mountains. If you're watching this, it's because we lost the data on the first SD card on the GoPro. <laughs> and I mean, it's not funny, it's seriously not funny. I still have my hopes that we can recover it tonight because it doesn't make sense how we lost it, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> but it is pissed off. And so from, that's why the first part of the video is voiceover. But we're gonna show you the train still. We're gonna try to make up for everything that we lost. Shut up, baby. <laughs> We've been riding along the Fraser Lake for the last 20 minutes, Hi. like it's massive. And we actually saw some birds, but they were actually Canada geese. And it says that this is a resting point for migrating birds, such as the Canada geese. Well, now it's 7.43 and the sun has set. Uh, and we still have two hours until we get to Prince George because we're falling like an hour, an hour and a half behind the schedule due to the several freight trains that we let pass. So yeah, that's it for the scenery of today. Oh, we are finally in our hotel for the night here at Prince George. We're the, in the Ramada Hotel. And this is one hour and a half later than the scheduled time. It became like a 14 hour day or so because they always have to pretty much give right of way to the cargo trains. So if you people would stop ordering so much, <laughs> that would be much appreciated. <laughs> yeah, I can't wait to get to sleep. It's actually a very nice room here. Too bad we don't actually get to enjoy Prince George. But yeah, we pretty much have to go to sleep because tomorrow the train leaves once again at 8.15. Welcome aboard! <laughs> Good morning! Today was an early morning again. Our train departed at 8 10, and that's something you need to consider when traveling by train is that you're gonna wake up early. And now we're on board for the second leg of this trip from Prince George to Jasper, and it's supposed to be way shorter than yesterday's train. It's supposed to take only between 8 to 9 hours versus 12 to 14 hours that it took yesterday, but we'll see. Well, we still can't believe it that we lost all our footage yesterday from the GoPro camera. That's never happened to us before. We're not sure what happened, but every single file on the SD card is gone. We tried to recover it and couldn't. But yeah, it was such a, it was like all our interviews, we had time lapses, all kinds of beautiful shots. So it's kind of a disheartening in a way, but the good news is we're back on the same train, we're back on the Skeena once again, so we can just redo the tour so you can see what the train's all about. So first things first, we were told that this train was made in the 1950s, but remodeled around the 90s. So you can kind of tell it's a bit dated, but it still looks great and it's uh, quite comfortable. Kind of like flying business class. There's a lot of leg space with the added bonus that if you're traveling with a group, you can actually flip the seats around and face each other. And then of course, when you want to rest, you can just recline and take a nap. 
can even get our exercise on the train today because we're the only ones here. Literally just Carla and I on this entire train and even yesterday there was only about 10 people in total. So it's a pretty quiet time of the year to come. So if you like that kind of thing, you definitely want to come in the early spring. Before we continue, we'd like to mention one of our sponsors for this video, AG1 by Athletic Greens. A comprehensive and convenient daily nutrition with 75 vitamins, minerals, and whole food sourced ingredients made for just about everybody. If you'd like to try it out for yourself, they're actually giving our community a free one year supply of vitamin D, as well as five free travel packs with your first purchase. Just go to the link in the video description below or go to athleticgreens.com slash mustdocanada. We actually got a home kit that comes with a bag of powder, as well as a nice green canister, a shaker, and a metal spoon. I wish I had brought the shaker on this trip. I actually forgot it, but I definitely didn't forget the travel packs. These just make it a lot easier to take the powder with you. And, uh, and it's easy to find your own shaker anyways. We like to mix ours with a little bit of juice. We just like the taste a little better. So we just bought this juice and uh, just makes it easy to mix it. They can be a little messy when you open them. So you gotta be a bit careful. Otherwise, you'll look like the Hulk if you get this powder all over you. <laughs> Leave a little bit of space so you have room to shake it all around. And then you just gotta shake it like a Polaroid picture. Use your bartending skills. Or like a bartending, skill. something like that. Look at that. You know it's healthy just because it's a green, right? That's it. <laughs> As you may know, I'm pregnant, so I already asked my doctor and she said that it's okay to take this supplement because everything that is in here is actually sourced from whole foods. So if you're also pregnant or you're nursing or you want to give it to your children, it's always advice to ask your doctor. Yeah, AG1 is definitely a game changer for supporting your immune system as it gives your body everything it needs for optimal performance every single day. So if you want to try it out for yourself, follow the link in the description below or go to athleticgreens.com slash mustdocanada. With your first purchase, they're going to be giving you a free one-year supply of vitamin D3K2 as well as five free travel packs. Continuing the tour have a water station so actually it's quite low to fit a water bottle but they have these cute paper cones so you can just have a few sips of water <laughs> I haven't seen this once in a while plus the added bonus is uh, if you're gonna spew you can spew into this if you know what movie that's from, let me know in the comments. Right beside the water station is the bathroom. So, and the bathroom is actually a bit bigger than an airplane bathroom. You have your small sink, soap, paper towel, toilet paper, very important, and a toilet that actually works the same way as the airplane toilets. It sucks the content. That takes a little while, but it will suck everything down. There's a second bathroom here. And this is the small cafeteria where you can get coffee, drinks, sandwiches, other snacks. Not too many options, but at least it's good to have. And now we're in the lounge car, or at least that's what I call it. This one actually really feels like the 1950s. I can actually envision sitting down and having a smoke or something. <laughs> <laughs> and last but not least, we're here in the dome car. This is where you want to come to get the best views on the trip because of course you have the windows above you and you just have a higher vantage point. So this is pretty much where we spend all our time. There. We just saw two bald eagles, but of course it's so hard to, to get them on camera, especially when you're moving at this speed. Mm. 
we just saw a bunch of white-tailed deer too running away from the train. We're having a quick stop in the town of McBride to pick up two passengers and to get off the train to see the old station which was built in 1919 and it was named after Sir Richard McBride who was the youngest premier in BC who served from 1903 to 1915. Well now it's time for lunch so we're going to be having some gourmet pizza. I wish. No, we actually brought this from Prince George. We got there late last night, so we ordered pizza and kept some for today because you really do want to bring your own food on, on this particular train trip. As Carla mentioned, they have some snacks and stuff, but it's not really the best, so you're better off bringing your own food. So I think this is gonna be good. What we just saw was Dunster, a small town in BC with a population of 75 people. And that was the Oxbow, which is a freestanding U-shaped body of water of the meandering Fraser River, which is actually the longest river in BC. Now for a super exciting part of the video, I'm gonna show you the second bathroom. Uh, you just come in here like this. <laughs> This one's extra fancy because I like it because the sink's on the corner symbolizing the fashion from the Victorian era of the 17th century. No, I don't think so. <laughs> but you know, it does, it functions. It has your water so you can clean your hands. There's soap, very important. As Carlos said, a toilet, but also the moose and the deer outside can't see you doing your business because the window has this kind of gloss over it. The other bathroom has the same, but you know what's different about this bathroom? What? If you need some help, you can call the attendant. Let's see if Karin comes. Now that there's less clouds, we can start seeing the mountains. Well, we just passed Mount Robson, which is actually the highest peak in the Canadian Rockies at 3,954 meters tall. It's really a pretty spectacular mountain. I can kind of even see it now, but it's just like, it always has clouds around it, but when it peaks out, man, it's, it's big. Well, there's actually train tracks to the left of us right now, which uh, probably explains why this trip is a little faster. And then to my right is actually Moose Lake, a wide cross section of the Fraser River. By the way, uh, on this trip we've seen three moose, which we haven't captured because as we mentioned, it's too fast. So that's pretty cool because that's the biggest animal we've seen on this trip. Yeah. Well, we just crossed over the continental divide and we are officially back home in our province of Alberta. station to all paths. We've never been here before. Super nice. Well, that was a delicious dinner, especially after two long days on the train. I think it's probably one of our new favorite restaurants in Jasper. And uh, something Carla really remarked is that <laughs> everything there is beautifully plated. Yes, the dishes, just looking at them, you were getting hungry already. Like, and they tasted very good. But now we're in our hotel for the last night. A great way to end this trip, we're staying at the Fairmont Jasper Park Lodge. We've never stayed here before and our room is massive and very pretty. 
Yeah, and it's probably bigger than our apartment. Yes. But unfortunately, we won't be uh, exploring the property this time or Jasper. We have been here before though, so if you want to learn more about things to do in Jasper in both the winter and the summer, we'll put some links to those videos in the description below. And of course, if you want to take your own train excursion across Canada, let's book your train trips, ferries, hotels, planes, whatever you need. So if you want to contact them, we'll put a link to them uh, in, the, in the description as well. But overall, we hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give us a thumbs up, hit subscribe, and to learn more about these kind of trips and more trips all across Canada, visit our website at mostofcanada.com. Uh, and I don't see any moose. They all drowned. Go ahead. Yeah. That's why it's Moose Lake, because you're boating over, you see all the carcasses. It's a really gruesome sight, but <laughs> such is nature. Something Carla also really enjoyed. Everything there is very beautifully played. Yes! <laughs> we already know this is script by, by heart because we've said this interview like 10 times already.